Hello, University of South Carolina. I'm Jake Hutchison, and this is Gamecocks at the Movies. Uh, in case you don't know what we do on this show, we come in here, I bring different people from on campus, different students, and we talk about movies, we'll do reviews, we'll talk about TV shows. And this week I have a very special guest, host of Talk of the Town, and a senior visual communications major, Daniel Shelley. How you Hello. doing today? Hey, I'm great. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, today we are doing Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, uh, you saw it as I did last weekend. Um, this movie is all about Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America, coming to grips with the world that he's living in now as opposed to the world that's radically different from World War II. And it really doesn't know... He doesn't really know who's the good guys and who's the bad guys. You know, it's kind of a mystery that way. So uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. is a pretty confusing company in that <laughs> way anyways. Yeah, it's good. it's always a little shady. Nick Fury is a little bit of a shady It's character. like they do the right thing, but do they do it in the best way possible? Exactly. And it's him trying to figure out where he fits into the world. So, um, what did you think of it? I enjoyed the movie. I think it's one of Marvel's better movies that they've came out with. I'm not going to say recently cuz like they've all been like really good. But uh, it was like a super long movie, but while watching it, I wasn't like, oh, this is super long. I was like, this is so good. Yeah, I, I thought it was exceptionally better than the first Captain America movie. Maybe it's just because I'm not like into like World War II stuff, World War One. Yeah, I, 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 even as a Marvel fan, I mean, I got what they were doing, but like I still didn't like love it. Um, and it was very like different than all the other movies that was just like action, action, action. This one was kind of more espionage yeah it was kind of it was kind of slow paced in the first one uh, it was like one, a political thriller is what they're like yeah, calling it and i'm yeah. like Th this one is yes very much a political thriller it's like a comic book movie with like marvel and if you love that style of marvel filmmaking where stuff's blowing up and you get to see a lot of cool powers and there's a lot of cool stuff going on but you also get like this really cool like political thriller slash like spy movie mixed <laughs> in where you're like can Captain America trust this person? Can he trust this person? You never, you're kind of on this journey and you're like, I don't know if I can trust any of these people other than <laughs> Captain America. So, exactly. And I, I don't know. Like for me, the action scenes were probably the best action scenes since I've seen since the Avengers. Um, Which is like they've only released like one movie since then. Well, not even that, just <laughs> movies <laughs> like in general. All just all movies. Like I loved watching the action in this movie. Um, there was, uh, I, I don't know. And if you're a Marvel fan, the Easter eggs were ridiculous they're scattered all throughout i mean i can count like 30 of them in my head so. i only caught like five of them <laughs> <laughs> but yeah well, his knowledge I, is way bigger than mine yeah, i'm a nerd see like my <laughs> captain america my superhero shirt um but um i really loved it i think everyone should see it um i don't know if you like the marvel stuff check it out if you don't like marvel stuff i mean i i guess don't because it's kind of a marvel movie i think this is like a good movie to see if you saw the Avengers and like you don't want to see any other Marvel movies because it it says it like sets up for the second Avengers movie so it would be like a good in between film and it does I did like how it gave more of a story to Black Widow and Nick Fury as opposed to their little like I would literally like call them cameos. Yeah, they, yeah. Like, other than like, yeah, like the they Avengers, show up and say like a few lines and yeah. like punch some people in the face Scarlett and then just Johansson. like leave. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson's popped up a couple times, but, but they're like, so little, and I'm yeah, so glad she was like a main character. She, for this yeah, one. she's one of the like two or three main characters in this movie. She's really good. Like I, I think like I'm not a huge fan of her as an actress in most stuff, <laughs> to be honest. But she, she was great in SpongeBob. She, <laughs> She was in SpongeBob. That's right. If you didn't know, she plays who she play? She plays King Neptune's daughter. Yeah, check check that out too. Um, but she's really good. I think she's a really good Black Widow. Um, I, they do a lot of cool stuff to set up for the future, like stuff that like I don't know if like a normal fan would like catch, like someone that doesn't really know comics that well would catch on to. But they do a lot of stuff that's like nodding to the future and they're like yeah. oh crap they're setting that up or they could do that or they could do that like for me i'm like oh crap i saw like five other movies being set up so that was pretty if you exciting. like look I, I don't know comics but i know the future of like the marvel cinematonic cinematic whatever cinematic universe <laughs> cinematic universe <laughs> here on gamecocks at the movie we know how to pronounce words <laughs> uh, occasionally <laughs> um but i saw like where they could go with it like past like, just knowing, like, people's contracts and the actors and, like, how many movies they're set to play. Yeah. And, like, I can see where they're going with yes, that. And it's absolutely. really interesting. And the thing I loved about 
the, I, the thing I liked about it so much was like the it, the mixture of two movies, like the spy thing and the cat and the superhero thing. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Kevin Feige or Feige. I don't know how to say his name, but he's him. the executive producer of all the Marvel films. He's been the guy that's been ushering in this like golden age of Marvel movies. So like, if you've liked uh, the Iron Man movies, the Hulk movies, except for the first one, um, the one with Ed Norton, not the first one with Ang Lee. Um, the uh, Captain America movies, Avengers. If you Thor. liked all that, you got to get Thor movies, all, both you. the Thor movies. You have to give Kevin Feige a shout because he's doing a really great job. Just me as a fan of this actress, when she was announced like over a year ago, Emily Van Camp, I was like, I'm such a big fan of her show Revenge, and I love her. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And then every trailer came out, and I was like, where is she? Where is she? And then she wasn't in anything. And then Marvel released an hour-long special on TV, <laughs> and she had like a quick interview, and I was like, oh, what's Emily Van Camp? And I was really excited, and I thought she was gonna, because who she plays in the movie is like a well-known comic book character. Yeah, very much so. And people were speculating online of like, if she was gonna be her. And I thought her role was gonna be huge, and she was in it for literally like 10 minutes, and like, maybe, yeah. maybe that. But maybe. like, the one scene she had was like really good, so I'm like hoping they keep her on, maybe bring her in for the Avengers 2, and then have her kick some major butt in the third movie. Yeah, the, that character that she plays in Captain America have like a big, uh, they, they work together a lot in the comics. Oh, so um, they did kind of start to set that up. They have some the canoodling the going they did on. a little bit, but um, they worked on that. Um, for me, my problems were, uh, A, I want to see more of Hawkeye, uh, Jeremy Renner's oh, character. Yeah. He's in the Avengers. But he like wasn't in the Avengers. And he's in <laughs> Thor, yeah, exactly. He plays a bad guy through like three-fourths of the movie in the Avengers. He's in Thor for about two minutes. Well, that was an Easter egg cameo. Yeah, and then, but no one really knows his character. Scarlett Johansson and the Black Widow have been in, like, four movies yeah. now. But, like, he's been in, like, one full movie, and he, he was in it for, like, five minutes. So, like, the actual character of Hawkeye was in it for, like, five minutes. So I'd like to see I would to like see to him. see a, bl a Black Widow and Hawkeye movie. I see like, that, that would be an oh, interesting God, dynamic. God, I'd love to see that. Because, like, be are awesome. they lovers? Are they just best friends? <laughs> If you notice in the movie, she's wearing an arrow necklace. I didn't notice that. Easter egg, I didn't even catch. What? So. I don't look at Jordan. There has well to be done. some flirtation there, between the yeah, two. Like, I want to see more of him. I wish that would have been in there. I wish. There's one scene that's about, like, I don't know, like, three-fourths of the way through that just doesn't feel like it fits. Um, no. That um, It's like a two-minute scene. It's really quick. It's not that big of a deal. But for me, it kind of was something that I was like, eh. And then there's one scene, like one shot that lasts like less than a second of like bad CG that I caught. But that was it. Like that's the only thing I have wrong with this movie. Since this is our first review, we're going to implement a rating system. We're going to do uh, whatever out of five. So I'm going to go to the guest first. What do you say? Oh, God. I was just going to base mine off yours. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm really bad at rating things. But I would give this... Four out of five Captain America shields, <laughs> and I will give it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it like four point seven five shields. Oh, because um, I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, as a comic book fan, it was awesome. So, uh, if you haven't seen Captain America yet, I'm sure most of you have. But if you haven't, check it out. If you have seen it, go check it out again. Um, so I'll and, go together. Yeah, and join us next week when we'll be doing our review of Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit because it will be in. The Russell House Theater the following weekend. And if y'all want to come check it out, y'all can. So I hope y'all have a wonderful week. Bye, guys. See ya.